Hey guys, I wanted to teach you how to do this page in case you're confused because it can be kind of complicated. So we are on page seven of your packet and we're going to do this first block right here. Okay, so we're doing this first block. So I went ahead and wrote the first block on my whiteboard and so this is what it provides you with and on your um, test you are going to have to work backwards, work forwards, figure out what everything is. And so I wanted to teach you how to do that. So um, in the first column, we have our tRNA, okay? We don't have anything else and we've got to figure out what's our mRNA, what's our DNA, what's the amino acid. So when you're doing something like this, you definitely have to have your code on chart ready. And your code on chart is on page four of your packet. So here's your code on chart, code on wheel. I'll teach you how to use both of these just in case you are confused on that. Okay. So, tRNA has an anticodon, so this is the anticodon. Remember, the anticodon on tRNA binds with the codon on mRNA, so we know that they have to match. So therefore, we know our mRNA is G, G, G. Well, mRNA is made from the DNA, so they're going to pair as well. So we know DNA is C, because C pairs with G, C, C. Now, which one of these do we use to find the amino acid? Well, it's a codon chart. So you would use the mRNA because this is the codon. Okay, so here's your codon chart. Our codon is GGG, so this one's gonna be pretty easy. So go to your codon chart. Your first base, you go to the left, it's one of these. First base is G, so it's somewhere in this row. Second base, you go up top. Second base is G. So where those intersect, it's somewhere in this box, okay? Somewhere in this box. Third base is G. So you know that this is glycine, okay? So the first one is glycine and you just write it using the first three letters to shorten it because you won't have enough room to write the whole amino acid, okay? So that's the first column. Second column, we know that it's U something A and the amino acid is leucine, so we're going to have to work back using the codon chart. Okay, here's our codon chart. Where is leucine in here? We know that it starts with U, so the first base has to be U, and the only leucines you can get where the first base is U would be UUA and UUG. So, we have U blank A, so we know it is U U, A, and that would give you the amino acid leucine, okay? mRNA binds with DNA or is created off of DNA, so they should match. So U stands for T because mRNA doesn't have thymine, it has uracil. So we know that T binds with A, aka U binds with A, U binds with A, and then A binds with T. Remember, in DNA you do have Ts, so this is a T, it's not a U because this is DNA. Then you go down to tRNA. tRNA has the anticodon, so whatever this is here should pair up with the mRNA codon. So U pairs with A, U pairs with A, and A pairs with T. However, this is RNA, so it's a U. Okay. Um, we have our DNA, TTA. T pairs with A, T pairs with A, and A pairs with T. Or if it's RNA, U. Okay, then the mRNA codon will match with the tRNA codon, so we know that A pairs with U, A pairs with U, and U pairs with A. The amino acid, again, you have to use the mRNA codon to find the amino acid, so we're going to use AAU, and I'll do the codon wheel this time so you can know how to read both. Okay, you always start from the inside, work your way out, and our, amino, our, our codon is AAU. So our first base is A. That means it's somewhere in this square right here. Second base is A. So now that's eliminated it to either be lysine or asparagine. And the last base, so we have AA, last base is U. So it is asparagine, ASP. Okay. And then the last column for the first section of this worksheet we have our mRNA codon CAG. So let's go up to DNA. What pairs with C? 
G pairs with C, what pairs with A, T pairs with C. Again, you're going to have that T because it's DNA. And then G pairs with C. And then we're going to work down to tRNA. So C pairs with G. A pairs with T or U. And since this is RNA, this is a U. And then G will pair with C. Okay. What's our amino acid? You always have to use the mRNA codon. So it is CAG is what we're going to use. So in your first base is C. So it's somewhere in this column. Oop, somewhere in this column. Second base is A, so C, A, so it's somewhere in this box. Last base is U. It is histidine, which we're going to write H, I, S. Okay. So this is how you will fill in this worksheet and this chart. You just have to remember that DNA is going to complement the mRNA, and that happens in transcription. And then mRNA is going to have a codon that matches or pairs with the tRNA anticodon, and this part occurs in translation. So we have transcription going on and translation going on. So this is what's actually happening with your base pairs whenever you're making that mRNA or whenever you're trying to pair up that tRNA with the mRNA. Okay, have a good day. Miss you guys.